John John Um, okay, Um, uh, and um, welcome to our presentation this evening for the Mana o Te Taio, Ki Te Taio Aoriri, the proposed biodiversity strategy. Next slide. Our next slide, please. Kia ora. Um, yeah, so the Tasman Bio Strategy follows Tamana or Te Tail um, or Aotearoa New Zealand Biodiversity Strategy and setting targets for protecting and restoring Te Tail. This bio strategy is a call to action. It sets regional goals and a pathway for restoration of air, land, freshwater, and sea. TDC will be central to implementation, but could never achieve these aspirations on its own. Um, so actions to address biodiversity loss need to involve everyone in the biodiversity system. Fano, hapu, iwi, Māori organisations, NGOs, central local government, etc. Um, this proposed biostrategy has been developed at a critical point ecologically and socially. It could lead the way for our community to bring activities into harmony with nature and it endeavours to give access to the worldview and relationships to Te Taio developed by Tangata Whenua. Um, both the New Zealand Biodiversity Strategy and the Waitangi Tribunal reports on the Y262 claim recognise and affirm that the central role of Māori must be recognised in the way nature and people are interwoven through whakapapa. Um, in this recipro reciprocal relationship, people are kaitiaki of nature and nature is kaitiaki of people. As a first step, Tikanga has been honoured through co-governance and collaboration in the pre preparation of this draft biostrategy. So, um, yeah, we're committed to continuing in its implementation. Next slide, please. Okay, so why is EU involvement important for this strategy? Well, first and foremost, and as Alice uh, alluded us to is the relationship that Manafinoa we have with the area with Tail uh, Audi through our Whakapapa connections and also the connection through Te Piriti or Waitangi, um, which is the relationship with the people. So, um, Te Piriti or Waitangi, the founding document of this country, uh, really sets a pathway for how we work together with council uh, through co governance over this particular rohi. Um, Tinoranga Tiratanga, it's really the uh, opportunity for mana whenua to have decision making over the taiao, uh, as well as na taonga to kuiho. So um, that Tinoranga Tiratanga is acknowledged in Te Tiriti or Waitangi, um, but we also know as mana whenua that that's our, our role and our role as, as kaitaki as well. Uh, there are range of customary rights and practices that our people have been using for as long as we've been living in this country. And to be able to recognize the, the relationship that we have through those customary rights and tikanga and practices is a big part of why we need to be uh, having the conversations around our taonga. Uh, the Modi of Te Taio Aoriri, uh, you know, it currently has been compromised. So with the loss of biodiversity, 
and also our environments, our ecosystems being degraded. You know, that's really important that that our iwi have the a voice to enhance the Modi. <laughs> uh, having a mana whenua lens or a chao Māori lens is really important when working within these documents and strategies. Um, and in the past, that re hasn't really happened. So this is an opportunity for us to uh, put forward our views, our values, and our philosophies and perspectives around how we go about managing um, the taiao. It's really important that we're hearing those views from our whānau haku and, and iwi. And that, that's really, the strategy isn't uh, owned by the council, it's really a community uh, document as well. So just, it should be sort of owned by the whānau, the haku and the iwi. And then of course, we're here to ensure that TDC get it right in terms of uh, working with uh, whānau haku and iwi. Next slide, thanks. So um, it's most councils uh, around the country now, regional councils have biodiversity strategies, uh, but they're entering a new level. Uh, and the impetus comes from recognizing treaty obligations with the settlements that have happen happened. Things from the national level, uh, the proposed national policy statement on uh, biodiversity under the Resource Management Act, the council's own regional policy statement that affirms the importance of the natural environment and the alliance that the council has joined with six other councils and um, most of the iwi from the top of the south, uh, the Kotahi Tanga Motataia strategy. There's also direct um, connection to Te Mana o Te Wai, which also comes from the Resource Management Act that gives the council direct responsibility for looking after uh, indigenous biodiversity and fresh waters. And we can't overemphasize the great significance of the Tasman region in the national context. This is one of the areas uh, uh, as a hotspot of plants and animals that occur nowhere else in the world, not, not just um, nowhere else uh, around the South Island, but nowhere else in the world. Uh, and uh, we have a relatively low population density and really big areas of natural environment. So Tasman can't do it on its own, and part of the function of the strategy is to invite participation from other parties. Next slide. So why do we need to act on um, Indigenous biodiversity? Well, there are key factors driving the loss of biodiversity around the world, and they are the impacts from invasive species, changes in land use, which result in the destruction of nat natural ecosystems, direct exploitation of species, climate change, and pollution. Um, because ecosystems are connected, the decline or degradation of biodiversity and ecosystems has negative impacts on both marine and freshwater environments. And in Tasman, these drivers are all active and indigenous biodiversity is in crisis. Past introductions of pests and ongoing pressures from human use compromise natural functioning ecosystems and disrupt connections. If we do things according to tikanga, we will heal our relationship with Tataio. This is because Tikanga is rooted in a long experience with Te Taio and it's founded on whakapapa connections. Te Taio contains us. So that means that we're living, um, living in the world must be based on reciprocal restoration and care to meet our needs. Placing Tikanga at the center of our, of our interactions with the world offers everyone an approach that leads to sustainable outcomes for the environment and for our people. Next slide. All right, so in terms of iwi engagement, uh, we recognize in the first instance that we, we have iwi representation within the, the project and the strategy uh, group, working group and governance group. But at times and, and at the inception of this project, there may not have been uh, full representation of iwi due to issues such as capacity. And so really the ones that are here representing on behalf of iwi are really holding that space for iwi to be involved as and when 
they can. So uh, we, we just want to recognize that, you know, it hasn't been a perfect process, but um, we have got to a point where, you know, we're, we're ready to, to move into the next phase, but we can always come back in. Um, so in the first, the earlier stages, TDC actually proposed a waka model, and that was to include Tainui, Tokumaru, Kurahaupo, and their uh, affiliated tribes, as well as Naitahu, um, given that they're on the periphery of, of Lirohi. Um, so there were representatives that, one representative that sort of represented those uh, waka. So in April 2019, uh, there were iwi reps pointed to the co-governance group, and those iwi reps sit with the, the councillors. So initially it was Harvey Dudu uh, for Chatiawa, and he was replaced by Ian Shapcott. Uh, and then Curtis Stafford for Nati Tama. And I wasn't there to start with, but ended up moving down to the working party. When we had realised that actually in that co-governance arrangement, we needed to have, you know, a certain level of, um, I guess you could say, rangatira to sit alongside the councillors. And then after that, the EU reps were appointed to the working group, and that's Alice uh, from Nahi Puata for Tainui and myself for Te Atiawa with Kumaru Waka. Um, and there is, we can go into more depth around that, around that process as well. So um, we're about two and a half years into the process. We're hoping to get finished um, uh, just after the middle of this year. There's a bit more work to be done with landowners on how the strategy addresses uh, Indigenous biodiversity on private land. And iwi entities will be part of that conversation that's happening in May. Uh, we aim to get the final draft of the Tasman Biodiversity Strategy to the governance group in July. And uh, the meeting uh, that it will go to the council uh, is now scheduled for August this year, rather than July, as it says on the slide. Next slide. The biodiversity strategy document is deliberately bilingual. Um, many of the uh, concepts that are covered by Māori words are not fully translatable. And we've tried to use them within the context of the document with enough definition for people to get access, but really um, not trying to diminish the need for the context to be there with the words. Next slide, please. So the vision, the overall arching vision uh, for the strategy is that responsible human behavior restores to Taiao. And notice um, it's, it's about how we live within that natural environment of Te Taiao and taking a restorative approach. And we'll come back to that later. And that uh, restored environment enriches lives because the balance is restored and indigenous biodiversity flourishes. Now that's a really big step change because at the moment, some of our indigenous biodiversity is on the brink of extinction rather than flourishing. And we need that to, um, to, to be present throughout the region for our identity. Next slide, please. Yeah, so these um, four principles have informed the overall strategic approach to the strategy. And they are as follows, um, acknowledging that Tatayo comes first, honoring tikanga or kawa in relation to Tatayo in conjunction with mana whenua iwi and the community, ensuring communities, organizations and industries are committed to restoring to Tile and building the capability, capacity and commitment to statutory agencies to support restoration of to Tile. Next slide, please. So as part of this strategy and the working group, uh, Alice and I were able to, to have a think about some values, na uara, um, that are um, important to our whānau hapu and iwi. So the, the, these values are quite generic, um, but they really just give you an idea or a platform of um, the way and, and what, which we want to um, deliver this type of program to ensure that 
we are covering those values off. So the first one there, Whakapapa Kititaya, is connection to the environment um, through genealogy. So, you know, we have, um, we obviously believe that we have a Whakapapa connection to all things that are living. And Rangi and Papa being uh, Rangi Nui, the Sky Father, Earth Mother, Papa Tuanuku are the parents. So this idea or philosophy around the personification of the Taya is a way in which we can um, view the environment. Uh, and I guess it guides our thinking and behaviours in terms of how we um, behave around those tūpuna or those ancestors. So um, that's a really useful way of thinking when we're using um, these values to determine our management. Te mana o te taiao, the taiao comes first, and this is also reflected in te mana o te wai, um, but really we're putting the environment um, first instead of maybe some of our human activities or anthropogenic activities. Um, we are the taina or the, the youngsters in those um, you know, those large um, trees that have been around for hundreds of years are our, our tuakana, but there needs to be a level of respect there. Ko te whenua mai ngā maunga teitei ki te ki hōhonu o te moana, which is an, a, a holistic approach to viewing te tai o Aorere, it's ki te ki tai, the mountains to the sea, um, so that can also inform how we do things. Nā taonga tūku iho, the treasures handed down from our ancestors, so that's acknowledging that, you know, our ancestors have done a lot of mahi to uh, ensure that we have high, we have fresh water, we have all of these amazing taonga and that we now have that responsibility to hand over those taonga to the future generations. Aranga tiratanga, able to exercise kaitiakitanga and self-determination to make decisions. So I've got kaitiakitanga, the next value as well. And those two concepts are really um, interconnected. You can't really have one without the other. So being able to, to um, have that ability to make decisions, therefore reflects on our ability to be kaitiaki, um, which is our intergenerational responsibility um, to protect and sustain the taia. Um, Rahui and Aukati are uh, examples of customary mechanisms or management tools that our whanau have used for a long time. And so we can look to our indigenous ways of doing things and, and bring those forth into the light. And our iwi will always practice those, uh, but there's definitely learning there, uh, um, council. Māori, which is the restoration of, of Māori or the ecological health of our, our taonga in the, in the taia. Um, nā atua. So we acknowledge that, you know, among, and within the taia, there are different domains. Uh, which is a different way of thinking when, if you look at things from a scientific point of view. So it's, there's a whole wider aspect to that that also goes back to the whakapapa of how we view the tie And then there's a lovely little quote down the bottom. And I wondered if, um, Shepi, you'd want to speak to that. Maybe not. Next slide, please. <laughs> oh, should I just I'll read it out, though? Um, all of this implies human activity must have a net restorative effect if we are not to degrade the world we live in. So the, the strategy structure, here it is on one page. You don't need to, to try to read all that, but notice the three po in the middle. So this is uh, building on the approach of the New Zealand biodiversity strategy that came out just over a year ago. Um, and the three po are protecting and restoring uh, te tai or aoriri, the, the environment of Tasman. And they begin by empowering action in the community. And there's a bunch of objectives there that we'd aim to achieve over time. And part of that uh, is getting the system right to make sure that the treaty partners are able to fully participate, the governance is there and that the resources are brought to bear. 
And as I said before, this is an invitation to bring resources from beyond the region as well, from the national level. There's so much that's important here. Uh, and all of this is explained in the strategy document. Next slide. And so the um, strategy also has a focus on locations of interest, uh, areas uh, where the ecology and the communities mean that uh, particular things can be described. And so for each of these, um, uh, the environment is described, priority actions are set, intermediate outcomes are defined. Uh, and these are put forward as an offering of a way forward that can be picked up in implementation. Next slide. Yeah, so um, that brings us to the end of our explanation about the strategy document. Um, but what we're wanting to know is, um, well, anything really, any pātai guidance, comments or whakaro that can be offered. Um, but essentially, we want to know what works, what doesn't work, where the gaps are, where the opportunities are, how um, Fano would like to be involved moving forward and an implementation of the strategy and what would EU endorsement look like. Also, just wanted to check out another part I, um, which is how might this strategy align with uh, Iwi priorities? So, if there are um, environmental management plans, or if there are environmental biodiversity related or Tonga related kopapa, you know, how could this strategy support um, Iwi sort of priorities around the tile? While well, I'm here, it's a little whakatoki that has been used within the strategy. He toto o te tangata he kai, te oranga o te tangata he whenua. Person's blood is from the food eaten, and it is from the land that sustenance is derived. So, you know, we can't have, we can't be living here in a healthy way without our um, tire also being in a healthy state. That's end of our presentation. And this last slide, slide here is just um, reference to the actual process and timeline of what's happened to date. Kia ora.